Hello, um, welcome to um, Feed Your Daily Goodness. Um, so today's event is mainly about the background of Tropic um, and why the um, Susie May, or Susie Ma, I think that's how she pronounced it, um, made Tropic and it kind of invented it in a way with, with her beliefs and her ethos. Um, so today's event is in three lives. So this is the first of those th three lives and this is about the Tropic background. Um, I went to a road show uh, a couple of weeks ago now um, and met Susie and she did a, a lovely sort of talk about her background um, and where she originated from and how she got to where she has now um, and why she's so driven um, to make the place a greener planet and to put goodness into the skin. Um, I did receive a booklet from the Roadshow and I'll be mainly reading from this because I can't memorise everything. Uh, so if my eyes go down, that is the reason why. So um, this is the Tropic story. So and this is Susie Ma's story. So her early inspirations um, come from two places. So her inspiration for Tropic comes from two places. Uh, the first one was her uh, granny. Um, who was a medicinal chemist and a toxologist and she taught Susie um, like our bodies, our skin needs feeding, healthy, nourishing and, and more importantly natural ingredients which is um, with Tropic they're, they use natural ingredients um, and they um, are feeding goodness to her skin daily. Um, the second inspiration for Susie um, stems from her upbringing, childhood home, town in Cairns in, or Cairns, I think that is pronounced, in the tropic North Queensland of Australia. Uh, from fresh aloe vera plants to exotic fruit trees, the abundance of natural ingredients has a huge effect on the products that is... Susie later on went to create. Um, so the tropic beginnings for Susie after moving to London she started to sell a um, her favourite body scrub that she um, that she made to help her mum out. Her, they moved from Australia to London with nothing um, Unfortunately, their parents, her parents' business um, sort of folded um, and it, it wasn't going well for them uh, and there was a breakup in the family and Susie and her mum decided to come to London uh, to make a fresh, a fresh start and to see a different part of the world. Um, so her mum is in hard times trying to keep up with the rent, etc. and all the bills coming in. So Susie decided to help her mum out and sell her favourite body scrub at a local market. Um, so she blended her favourite recipe um, and created the body scrub that she still sells today. Um, it has a lots of uh, lemon myrtle, bergamot, um, eucalyptus essentials and just like what she used to make back in Cairns and that's what inspired her to name her brand Tropic as well. Um, she started to build her foundations um, with Alan Sugar so the, at age 15, she started making the body scrubs. That was in about 2004. Um, from 2005 to 2010, she started her making her own skincare range from her mum's kitchen. And she sold that at the market as well. 
Then she appeared on The Apprentice in 2011-2012. Um, and although she didn't win, um, she got fired in the final. Um, she did have uh, or capture Alan Sugar's interest. And he decided he wanted to invest 50-50 into her business. Um, she opened her official tropic business in 2013. And she decided not to put it into department stores um, or chemists or anything like that, but to actually do it as a um, a personal selling. So more um, pamper parties and, and selling to people personally. And um, because the products are made and they don't... Um, keep for too long um, they're made and then they're sold um, if she put them into shops uh, that would constantly be a lot of wastage um, so it's mainly all about uh, see where I am so it's mainly about putting goodness back into the skin um, from natural ingredients. Um, so Susie uses a green science innovation and they're always uh, striving to remain ahead of the curve in the natural ingredient research. Um, their formulas are supercharged with cutting edge ingredients such as bioretinol and plant ceramides and they uh, embrace the, the latest green technologies. Um, and they also help to look after the planet. So they aim to do as much as possible to minimise environmental impact, uh, leading the way in creating more sustainable options within the beauty industry. Everything is recyclable, um, down to the glue that um, they use in Tropic and the packaging. And it's getting more and more recyclable each day. Well, my window cleaner's here. <laughs> He'll be looking at the door in a minute. Um, I'll just stay here for a minute. Uh, also, uh, because they're all natural, the um, products are not tested on animal. They don't use any animal ingredients at all or anything the animal produces. So um, they have... Yeah, so the beauty industry basically overlooks animal welfare and the environment. So Tropic promises never to test on animals, nor use derivatives or derives that cause them distress. And that's why we stand with the Vegan Society and PETA as a 100% cruelty-free brand. Um, I will leave it there for the first live. Um, if you have any questions, then please um, pop a message in the comments or contact me by um, messenger or private message. And I'll see you for the next live. Thank you for watching. See you soon.